Hello, this is Technozon, and today we have a long-awaited review of the awesome smart TV box Ugu's. And this is the second smart TV box that came out on the Amlogic S922X processor. The second in turn, but the first in terms of its capabilities and quality. Well, let's take a look at these capabilities and qualities in this review. Let's go! When the B-Link GT King on the 922 processor came to the market, everyone shouted, Wow, this is... this is super... Although, of course, it brought with it a huge number of questions and very few answers. So, Ugu's brings a lot of answers to the questions of the B-Link GT King. Because Ugu's really does not have those problems that the first box has on the Amlogic S922. They worked on this device for so long and cut the firmware so well that I was looking for some... for a very long time. And indeed, there will be very few minuses. Yes, they will be. They will definitely be, because we are doing an honest review of this Ugu's AM6. But let's talk first about the characteristics of this Ugu's. First of all, this is an Amlogic S922X 6-core processor, 2 cores, Cortex-A53 energy saving up to, and 4 cores Cortex-A73, with a clock rate of up to 1.7 GHz. Listen, the processor is really good. Graphics processor inside, we have ARM Mali-T52. We also have a wireless Wi-Fi module 2x2 MIMO with 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz support. To be honest, I'll show you the results of the test of this Wi-Fi module. And this is now one of the fastest Wi-Fi modules on the market. Among smart TV boxes, of course. Inside, we have 2 GB of RAM DDR4, by the way, not the cheapest. We also have a storage for 16 GB EMMC 5.0. I will say right away that the firmware supports 4GB version. And the conversation about such versions as 4x32 is really going. And most likely they will be. And we will definitely release an additional video if we see this version in our hands. But that's not the point. The fact is that many of you will now say that 2GB of RAM for 2019 for a smart TV box is. Guys, relax. Do not be fooled by this marketing. The fact is that in smartphones, a large amount of memory is necessary for what? For messengers, for social networks, for a variety of applications that work in memory constantly. What applications does the smart TV box use? It does not use Skype, Viber, WhatsApp, or anything like that. Moreover, no one sits on it on some Facebook client and vContacta. And applications for watching video content just do not take up so much space. It takes up the place of the cache that creates these applications. So, 2GB is quite enough for these functions. But the fact is that this is not all. We already had a video on the channel where we played on this Ugu's and POB. But how is it, guys? On 2GB and PBG without problems? Yes, on 2GB without problems in PUBG. World of Tanks and 60FPS on maximum settings. And this TV box can handle it. In addition, 16GB of storage is like nothing. Again, for the same 2019, but here is a built-in CIS client, for example. This actually allows us not to limit ourselves to 16 GB, but as for 16 GB of RAM, you cannot limit them. Because in this very smart TV box, there is a SIFS client, native, built-in, and you can just connect your remote disk, which, for example, is connected to the router, or to your computer, or the disk of your computer, as a disk, an internal disk of your Ugu's. It will look like a USB disk, and you can easily work with content on this SIFS disk. Well, that's how I call it. Or rather on a disk that is connected through a SIFS client. There is also a built-in Samba server. Great thing, I'll tell you. Which allows you to get access from the computer. Inside, or rather to the storage of this very Ugus. And for example, to throw there your favorite PC files. Or some test files. Or whatever else you want to throw there. But let's get back to the features of this smart TV box. What else do we have here? On the sides, we have audio video out. That is, you can connect it to the old TVs. Although, of course, I do not see the point. There is AUX in. Oops, guys, there is AUX in. A little later in one of the following videos, we will implement the capabilities of this very AUX in. And the idea of this AUX in is quite interesting. I'll keep it a secret for now. There is a DTF card connector. There is OTG USB 3.0. By the way, there is a cable included. 
although I do not know possible options. There is USB 2.0, LAN 1 GB piece, 2 USB 2.0 on one side, HDMI 2.1, which allows you to watch 4K 75 FPS. SPDIF and we have a 12 V2A power supply. At the bottom it is all covered with cooling diffusers. There are two antennas and a power button. On top of the cover we have an indicator, which glows in different colors depending on the mode of operation of the console. This is all that concerns its interiors and features. Everything else you will already see in the review, on unpacking, and on the assessment of multimedia capabilities. This is one of the coldest consoles on the market. At the same time, this is not the coldest processor. Cooling, it would seem passive cooling. It is thought out so well that you will not boil this console. If the same competitor in CPU load drops the frequency of the older cores to 1.39 GHz, then this console keeps the maximum frequency at any rate, and it does not drop it. And we always have the maximum performance in this console. And this is one of the reasons why this console for games for me came in more. And it's really better to play on it. So the console is interesting. And about the content. It loses almost all the content that is on the market. I did not find any videos. I did not find any torrent. I did not find any video that I would not lose on this smart TV box. Any files 4K 60 FPS. Any video 4K 60 FPS? Any torrent. The most difficult. I played on it just perfectly. Of course, I can say a little about the disadvantages. There are disadvantages. At the time of shooting this video, unfortunately, there is no 3D sound. Well, okay, hell with it. It is not even a direct competitor. But I will tell you in secret that this problem is solved. And if something changes, we will definitely report. And already to completely outline all the charms of Ugus AM6. I can say one more thing, that the code does not have problems with the media codec of this Ugus AM6. So those who are concerned with this, this information is for you. Well, of course, the famous auto frame rate. Where without it? And it is very correct here. And let's say a native auto frame rate that is built into this Ugus AM6, and it changes not only the frequency of your TV, for the frequency of the playback content, but also the resolution of your TV for the resolution of this content. Also included in the set of the console that I have, there's only one remote control. I understand that it is possible that there will be a modification with a voice remote. But for now, at the time of the start of sales and at the time of my review, the situation is as... Be sure to check in the description under the video link. Perhaps there is already a link to Ugus with a voice remote included. By the way, the voice works here too. Well, of course, links to all Ugu's modifications, to different sources. We also left there in the description under the video. Let's move on. Well, I don't want to delay. I want to move on to the tests as soon as possible. I want to move on to the review as soon as possible. And to unpack, because there is really something to watch. Well, of course, before the review itself. I want to remind you that at the time of shooting this video, we have such a Radeon RX 590 playing on the channel 256 bits. For games 8 GB of memory. And this is Overclocking Edition. Great gaming video card. And all the conditions are in the link in the description under the video. So let's move on. We participate. For this, practically nothing is needed. Well, if there is no such video card, then there is most likely a prize no less interesting than this very Radeon RX 590. Well, of course, I advise you to click on the subscription and the bell. In order not to miss all our future reviews, smart TV boxes, gadgets, devices, and there will be a lot of interesting things on our channel. Well, do not forget about our social networks and publics. Links to which are there. Well, now I take this very Ugu's AM6. And we say, have a bang, guys. This is Bubblegum. Let's go! So, AM6. We waited. Ugu's AM6. Media TV box for Android. Let's see what we have in the box. Android Pi 9.0. Amlogic S922X. This is four cores Cortex-A73. Plus two cores Cortex-A53. Video speaker Mali-G52. USB 3.0. Audio and video output. Wake on LAN. Cool option that I meet not in every smart TV box. 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz MIMO technology. LAN 1 GB piece. VP9 HDR. Interesting statement. And 4K Ultra HD 60 FPS. Everything is super. On the back we have technical specifications. 
Let's take a closer look. We already understood that this is a processor. GPU is ARM Mali TMG52 MP62 GB LPDDR4. I want to say that 2 GB of high quality Samsung memory, 16 GB of eMMC. This is the modification. Micro SD card support up to 32 GB. Here we have written what standards of micro SD are supported. Android 9. Wi Fi A B G N A C 2X2 MIMO. Ethernet 802.3 up to 1000 megabits per second. Bluetooth 5. HDMI 2.1 Type A 4K 2K 60 FPS. Maximum resolution. But HDMI 2.1 supports 75 Hz. Maybe because of box printing. Peripheral interfaces 2 X USB 2.0, 1 X USB 3.0. So everything is clear. VP9 Profile 2. H265. A lot of things. Let's open it. I can read it for a long time. Opening Tada, it's so cool. I can say that metal is like soft touch. Not soft touch cool coating, but not smooth. A bit rough. Branded Ugu's logo. Wow, it's packed so tight. Look, shape is made. Polyurethane? I don't know. But shape is made very good. Let's take a look, Ugus. Here is LED. It's metal. It's heavy. Very heavy. On the bottom, we have cooling diffusers. MAC address serial number. Rubber feet. Rubber is very soft. Unboxing table. It doesn't move. It's really cool. Let's take a look on the sides. What we have here. Audio video out. EUX in E. TF cards. OTG USB, by the way. Ugu's is famous for OTG cable. USB 3.0. USB 2.0. LAN 2X USB 2.0 ports. HDMI 2.1. SPDIF power supply. Antennas and power button. On the front we have diffusers and infrared sensor. But it's full of cooling diffusers. Unlike competitors. I can see the radiator. Can you see it? I can see it. And it's cool. I think it won't heat up. And throttle. But it's cool. Let's take a look. What else? Antennas cool, two antennas. Because case is metal, antennas are out. And it's good. In metal case, it's hard to make it. Look, it's beautiful. Let's take a look. Power supply. I think they already opened it. I can't leave nothing in the studio. I think they already turned it on 12V2A. Power supply. Cool, cool, cool. Someone will get in the ass for this. USB OTG cable. Very cool. HDMI cable. Also cool. And I have version with standard Ugu's remote. I think there will be versions with other remotes. Like Bluetooth with Air Mouse. Or with Air Mouse on dongle. Maybe different options. But I have promo version. So it has remote. Next instructions media TV box for Android. It's cool. More promo. You can use smartphone. Samba server. So let's go. And take Ugus. It's so cool. So let's go. Testing, playing, watching movies. This is our TV box. As you can see, it has a lot of screens. Cool picture. It scrolls. 
and it means that we can easily connect live wallpapers. Yes, live wallpapers, but we'll come back to it. Let's take a look at Ugoose. Let's start with settings. Internet everything is standard 5 GHz, 2.4 GHz. And LAN RJ45. It's connected by LAN. Account and input. Everything is great. NVIDIA account. Apps for Android 9, everything is standard. Also, we can turn off or on energy saving. Turn off app sleeping. Also, we have access to notifications. Everything is great. You can delete apps. But when you install app without TV box reboot, you'll be able to find it only in system apps. This is a feature of Android 9. It's not a problem with Ugus. So if you install app and go to it, it'll be in system apps. And after TV box reboot, it'll be in user apps. Device settings. This is Ugu's AM6, Android 9, firmware 0, 0 0.4, but it's announced 0, 0 0.5. Language everything is standard. Multi-language support. Sound, we have a choice of formats. But I don't know how relevant it is without ROHD sound. But you can try. Storage, this is 16 GB version. As you can see, here is another storage. I'll tell you what it is, 12 GB from Box. And because of this storage, we'll show you how to expand memory of Ugus. USB mode. You can set it for this blue USB 3.0. In form of OTG, MTP, and PTP. MTP is transfer of files to another device. PTP is transfer of photos. OTG and host. Home screen. You can choose it. I have Launcher 3. It's the only launcher I have. And I like it. After Hades, it's perfect. It shows that it's a king on clear Android. Display, you can set it. Even when it'll go to sleep. Screen resolution. It supports from 480p 60Hz to 4K 2K 60Hz. And 4K 2K SMT. It's full 4K 24Hz. Color profile. Everything is standard. Screen size. Orientation. And this is interesting. In this box, you can set screen orientation. So this Ugoos can be used for business. We have huge hypermarkets in our stores. And we have upside down plasma TVs, which are not 16x9, but 9x16. In this format, you can set vertical orientation and play videos without rotation. It's very convenient. So it's cool. Screen orientation allows you to use apps, which doesn't support horizontal orientation. You have to use some other apps. Here it's made from box. And this solution is here. You can press and it'll change orientation. So access to this orientation is very easy. You can set different modes. You can even flip the screen. And everything will be great. Now we'll flip it. Here you go. Awesome option. And nobody has it. HDMI CC works great. HDR works great. I already tried it. TV Dolby Vision. But it has options. Dolby Vision doesn't work. Because it doesn't have license. And it won't work. Well, that's not all. Ugu's is famous for its firm settings. And now we'll talk about firm settings. Here is the most interesting. Super user. Everything is great. Super user allows you to turn on and off super user rights. We can turn it off now. And we can turn it on in super su mode. Silent mode. When access rights will work without your permission. I'll use silent. Because I have only trusted apps. And you can turn it on and off. So you'll see super user in the window. 
Awesome, you can turn it off and on. Very useful for apps that have super user. This one I can't use. Servers, awesome, let's go. Sambo client. You can make your own Sambo client, or you can set Samba and CFS. And I have Technozon servers login. And now we have access to files. I turned on to Rumble. Interesting part is that you can Rumble SSD that has SIFS client. Such great things. Let's go to my PC. In my PC, I have Kingston connected here. Let's go to network. And here it is, Ugu's AM6. We can go here. Here is internal storage. I can get access here. I can see pictures. Here is Ugu's picture. I put APK there. You can put APK there. I don't know. Anything. I don't know. Garbage picture. Anything you can put there. It's very cool to have access to this Ugu's AM6. Usually you need some costals for this. It's all in firmware. Let's see speed of this Samba. Server that we have on Ugu's. To understand speed of reading, I have my review. Let's go to 1 GB and see speed of reading. And it's 14.13 megabits per second. It's not bad. It's not bad for network protocol. It's in MBPs. Let's say 15 megabits per second. It's 120 megabits per second. You can write files there with 120 megabits per second speed. Great, I'll stop. I don't need it. Now we have CVS client. It's a very cool thing. You can set up CVS client too. And it will connect external Samba server to your smart TV box. As a disk. So you'll have additional disk in your TV box without any troubles. Without any problems. You just set up server address, common folder name, password, and name of the folder. And that's all if we'll go to ES Guide. We'll see that Kingston is connected. And this is my router. I have USB 3 flash drive in my router. And we can play some test file from it. And it works perfectly. I'll start it, here we go, 4K file. It plays from my router without any mounting. Just like external SSD, and you can get access to it in any player. Let's go back to settings. We have everything clear with client and server. By the way, in next versions of firmware, they'll make us higher. It'll be very cool. Now, playback settings. This famous AFR, it changes only screen frequency. You can choose when you have full HD TV, and you don't need to change it to 4K. It changes all aspects. And TV screen frequency for content frequency. And screen resolution for content resolution. I'll set maximum. And we have here 50 hertz for 25 frames per second. And 60 hertz for 30 frames per second. So we can turn off this options. Or we can turn on for fans. Or if you have something wrong, 25 frames content and 50 hertz. I'll leave it. Also, we have delay of screen parameters in seconds. For example, when you change IPTV channels. Through external player with AFR, it didn't change black screen. It kept frequency until you change this new channel. And you'll understand, you'll measure seconds, and then you'll set delay, and you won't have black screen. Or rewind. When you rewind movie, this delay allows you to avoid this black screen. Everything is realized very cool. We turned on AFR, we'll check it later. Information panel. One of the coolest things. Here you can display CPU temperature. But to display CPU temperature, CPU frequency, CPU load. 
we have to set text values. Here it is. It's 45 to 47 degrees. I won't set upper curtain. Let it be floating window. And let it work. It'll show us temperature. As you can see, temperature is great. Next wireless assistant. You can scan QR code, open Firefly app, and control your TV box from app. I'll make video about settings. And I'll show it. For now, it's not interesting. Gamepad settings. Here is very cool thing. I have gamepad. I turned it on. You can see that PG9089 is connected. We can choose device. I have here remapping of some buttons. That didn't work in standard with some of my favorite games. For example, R2 didn't work. I press R2. I press button on gamepad R2 if it doesn't work. It'll read it and will show gamepad code. And it'll work. I'll quit settings because everything is working. So, very cool thing for remapping of buttons. For Android TV games that supports gamepad. Also, we have settings. For example, settings for lagging. You don't need it. You can turn on ADB. To install remotely from PC. It's very useful for our videos about full settings of TV box. On Android. Also, we have user scripts. It means that we have support from Box, and you can turn it on and start. But it's not the point. It's cool function, but for geeks, it could be useful for hiding curtains. Like in some TV boxes, but we have nothing to do. System panels. We can hide status panel. We can show it. We can show navigation panel and we can hide it. For example, in some TV boxes, we have problem to hide this status panel. We won't hide it because we'll have temperature and settings of water. And this is cool thing. Listen, on remote that I connected G10 side. By the way, back button doesn't work. Everything works up, down, up, down. But back button doesn't work. Let's add a button. Press button on my device and choose category and button. This is main button. And it'll be responsible for back. Save settings. It asks to reconnect your device. We have one button. We can take out dongle from G10 set. And we can plug it in. Dongle is connected and we can press back button. And it works. It means that in Ugus, if you bought side remote, you can make it native. If you have some buttons that doesn't work, it applies to all buttons. Guys, this is really cool thing. You can do everything here. It's cool option, you can't find it anywhere. Also, we have remotes and accessories. I connected my gamepad IPGA 9089. We'll test its CPU and monitor we don't need. Because we have low temp. Now we'll test an ADA 64. Ugu's Ugu's M6, M6, M Logic 2, GB of RAM 11, GB of internal storage. And it can see my flash drive Bluetooth 4.0, but here it's 5.0. This is really cool. CPU 2, X Cortex A53 1.8 GHz. And 4 X Cortex A73 1.7 GHz. This is 64-bit system with 32-bit mode. Display it has Mali G52 with OPG less 3.2 support. We'll test network modules. Temperature, it's displayed. Everything is correct, but it's round in the top. Codex, we have almost everything we need to play all the content. For example, VP9 to play 60 FPS. It's time to test it. Let's speed test. By the way, as I said, here we have notification bar. Sound with switching. And status bar. 
This is really convenient. We download speed test and we testing will test LAN RJ45 for a start. And then we'll test Wi-Fi. Let's go. LAN RJ45, 721 megabits per second for download, 722 megabits per second even, 791 megabits per second for upload. I won't even make a series of tests. We already did a lot of tests. Network module here is really good. Minimum 500 megabits per second, maximum 900 megabits per second. This is what I got on this TV box. So one more time. And you can be sure that RJ45 works great here. 719 megabits per second for download, 746 megabits per second for upload. Cable. We have Wi-Fi connection, it'll turn on. Connected Technozone 5G. Testing 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Pressing starting. And 5 gigahertz shows almost 300 megabits per second. 288 megabits per second for download. 287 megabits per second. And 409 megabits per second for upload. I'm serious, let's try again. Because results are amazing, 5 gigahertz. So you can watch 4K 60 FPS torrents on Wi Fi. And you'll have enough of them. Everything else is nothing. Super, actually, it's great. So connecting to 2.4 gigahertz. Connected speed test and 2.4 gigahertz. Let's go. Guys, 90 megabits per second for 2.4 gigahertz. This is real Wi Fi MIMO. This is MIMO technology. This is really cool. 95 megabits per second for 2.4 gigahertz. And 98 megabits per second for upload, 100 megabits per second for upload super. I can do it again to make you sure that it's stable. Even more, 103 megabits per second for upload, 86 megabits per second for 100 megabits per second, 2.4 gigahertz is not stable. I have a lot of routers in my studio. But this is one of the strongest 2.4 gigahertz modules. This is a fact I haven't seen this results for a long time. When you press on power button, you'll menu, where you can choose to turn off, reboot, sleep, or screenshot. Great, and you can send or change. By the way, interface works great. No questions. Everything works great. If you'll make a menu from the bottom, you'll see it. If you'll make a curtain from the top, you'll see it. Everything is great. We have to make throttling test. And I'll show you one more interesting thing. We'll make 15 minutes test. Even 10 minutes. And then I'll show you results of 8 hours throttling test. Press on save and we'll see each other in 10 minutes. So 10 minutes throttling test is done. And it seems like 10 minutes. Yes, it doesn't throttle. As we can see, no throttling. No CPU thermal throttling detected. Maximum temperature 57 degrees. Believe me, it's the lowest temperature for Amlogic S922X. We have competitor that showed completely different results. By the way, it's the same, but numbers are the opposite. Well, I want to show you a little bit more. I made eight hours throttling test. Here are my screenshots. And we can see that it's 480 minutes. But we had different conditions. The thing is that throttling test wasn't done under the light. With light, Temperature in our room reaches 29 degrees. Here it was, 57 degrees with 29 degrees. I have a thermometer here, 29 degrees shows that I have two lighters per kilowatt. And it gives us battery effect. Without lighters, eight hours throttling test shows completely different results. It's 55 degrees. So interesting results. And their CPU throttling isn't detected. Whatever we do, console doesn't throttle at all. So you can see that it's very smooth. So I can say that Ugu Zam 6 is the coldest box that I've ever seen. Because if we take into account power of this processor and its tech process, 
end results of its competitors, then it's really the coldest TV box. And don't worry, it won't throttle, even if you'll play 4K 60 FPS torrents 8 hours in a row. It'll play it, it's absolutely normal, and it won't heat up more than 55 to 57 degrees. But I wanted to show you one more interesting thing. Now we'll load CPU float. It's a cool thing. CPU load generator. So this thing is for loading CPU. And boiling it. Actually, it's the same throttling test, but it's based on loading CPU with calculation, and each unit turns on additional flow of Shea 1. And we can see completely different picture. We can see full load of CPU. It has to boil now, but it hasn't to drop frequency. So this is the only TV box that doesn't drop frequency. Even with long test on this CPU load generator, if you'll try to test it on B-Link GT King. On its direct competitor, then you'll see sad picture. It'll be 1.3 degrees in temperature under 75 to 76 degrees. As you can see here, it's 52 degrees. We can leave it for a long time and it'll be so long and it won't heat up. And we'll make a video about battle with TV box on 922 processor. And we'll show this moment. So turn it off. And we can see that this TV box doesn't throttle at all. And turn off CPU float. And now let's talk about multimedia. About possibilities of this TV box. Multimedia, I love to test multimedia. Let's start with multimedia files. By the way, now temperature is 37 degrees. Multimedia will start with test files. Jellyfish, 4K cars and chips, Samsung and Jotter test. Jellyfish, 400 megabits per second, 4K Ultra HD, choosing player. This time I'll use different players. And 4K, 400 megabits per second, Ultra HD. And 10 bit is perfect. I don't see any problems. So we tested maximum files with Jellyfish. Neither red or white jellyfish doesn't make TV box in shock. As some people say, wow, red jellyfish is slowing us down. No, it's playing perfectly. LG Barcelona. By the way, before turning on LG Barcelona, if I'll turn on Vimu player with system function and use auto frame rate, even with off auto frame rate option, TV box starts to change resolution. So if you want to know if it System auto frame rate. I think many of you will try and write in the comments. Let's go. LG Barcelona 4K. No questions. TV box supports HDR10 without any problems. Super, really super. So, no questions with Ultra HD Barcelona 4K Carson chips. All heavy files. TV box plays perfectly. We have no problems with 400 megabits per second, 300 megabits per second, or anything else. Also, it plays with USB 3.0 flash, which is connected with USB 3.0 interface, and this means that you can watch the heaviest 4K movies. Not like with HDD with USB 3.0 flash. Actually, I'm saying that 16 GB is not a limit. And why you need 64 GB in TV box if you don't download movies and connect external HDDs. I have 8 GB, but I have games installed. I have World of Tanks, PUBG, Hearthstone, and NVIDIA games. So with multimedia test videos, everything is clear. Let's go. Before we go to YouTube and multimedia, I'll tell you about voice search, why I don't change voice. From stock, I'll show you. If we press voice search button in the central menu, we'll get this Google with voice search. And it'll listen to me and give it to me. But for me, it's one, two, three. So I said one, two, three, four, and it starts to search. If I'll press voice search again, and I'll say something else, it'll do the search. But I won't change voice search. And I'll tell you why. Because if I'll go to YouTube ATV and I'll press ATV. And I'll get 4K 60 FPS. 
Do you remember how it was done? On Xiaomi Mi Box on ATV6. What I was looking for. This is the best thing about voice search. In general, you have to look and it's the one that you want. And in app itself, you are doing voice search. If it's really native app, I'll test 4K 60 FPS again. If it's really native app, it'll support voice search. Let's try Costa Rica. We have to check 4K 60 FPS. Turn on diagnostic window. Well, it plays 4K with 60 FPS. So, four start drops. I talked about diecast window, and I need angle. I start and look. 5K, zero drop. It has 184 megabits per second. Great. And it playing VP9? We waiting. We're getting close to 5,000 FPs. And I want to pay attention to 4K 60 FPS 39 degrees. You see, it's all in the curtain. Sometimes it's 40 degrees, sometimes it's 39 degrees, but for 5,000 FPS, we have zero drops. And I think that YouTube 4K 60 FPS is closed, like voice search. Let's go to IPTV. I have IPTV playlist, I can load any HD channel, and I have no questions 38 degrees, it's all the same. I don't doubt that IPTV can't play here. Here is another channel. I have no questions with IPTV. But you have to pay attention that CPU load is only 13 to 11 degrees. So we have situation CPU is really powerful. And it won't lag. You can do whatever you want. Let's try to play torrents of 4K movies. We have Kino Trend. Let's start it. And we'll see what we have. Ultra HD, HDR, SDR. Let's see what we have Ultra HD 4K on torrents. From new releases, from Same Dragon 3. Torrent Ultra Blu ray disc, Remux HDR, 58 GB. Open with Tor server, we have connection with server. Peers, buffer. Let's see how it can play with 58 GB. Vimu player. And you know, 58 GB. I'll show you 3840x2160 23.976 frames per second. This is Dolby Digital 6 channels. It works perfect, 58 GB. Let's try another movie. I'm interested. I made another movie. Any other. Battle for Earth. Torrent, we have 19.2 GB. Not 58 GB, but 19.2 GB. With torrents, we can play any content. And with this processor, we can play any content. I'm interested. What we can't play? Vimu Media Player 3840x2160 Dolby Digital. And here is two channels. Let's wait. Screen shows up. Of course, if 58 GB plays, then 19.2 GB is no problem. I think we have to play this movie a little bit longer. And see how it plays. Guys, it plays great. I have no comments. Everything I can't do with it. I can't load it. I can't try to play. And I can't load it. I can't... Tracker. Kino Trend works great. Torrents are great 4K. Let's try 4K movies online. We'll use Lazy Media Deluxe. Find 4K UHD. Captain Marvel. Pressing Watch. MP4 4K UHD. And choose Vimu Player. So we can see that it's 4K. And it works. Almost instantly. I'll move it to another place. At least a third movie, 33 minutes. Instant switch. Did you see it? Without editing. Moving 49, 50, 57, one hour. 
Instant switch. Guys, it plays great 4K movies online. Watching with pleasure. So, we turning off 4K movies? It's not interesting for us. Everything works. And let's talk about games. What else we have here? By the way, we have DLNA. I don't know how relevant it is with CIVS client, but let's name it. Player Media Center. Okay, DLNA DMP. Here is DLNA stand. It sees DLNA. So DLNA works. Here is our video. Yes, we have to test it. So let's test it. We'll play with CVS Disk. With CIVS Client, choose Jotter Test. Take our smartphone. Set delay one second. And start. Let's play. With Stock Player. And here is our picture. Everything is perfect. No jotter effect. So, as we can see, temperature is great. Let's talk about games 3. D mark about 3 D mark. We have interesting situation. Firstly, it's faster than billing GT King. In Ice Storm Extreme, it has maximum. In Slingshot Extreme, it has 1137. In Slingshot, it has 1574. And it's more than in billing GT King. And in Ice Storm, it has 22036. We'll show it in next battle. Boxes with 922 processor, we'll show it. But for this, you have to subscribe. And of course, I couldn't pass this thing. And N22. A lot of people asking for N22 test results. And I can see reason to do it. It has 109058 points. And it's almost 2,000 points higher than its competitor. Billing GT King. But what a competitor. I'm ashamed to talk about it. So this is results. And we'll continue. Playing on it is not that you can, but you have to. And we'll play on it in a lot of games. And what games we'll play? Pub Hearthstone and World of Tanks. And maybe NVIDIA games, PUBG Mobile. I already showed you how I played on Ugu's M6. And how to set up game on this Ugu's. PUBG Mobile with gamepads. I'm playing on gamepad Ipega 9089. Let's go. Everything works great. Where is everyone else? Am I the first one? It happens. Let's beat someone. Come on. Well, 2 GB is not enough. DDR4 memory is very fast. It's not the cheapest. Believe me, Smart TV Boxes doesn't have it. Ugu's is trying to improve. And they are doing it better. They already took a niche that Minix made for them. Someone is falling. Someone from my team. Let's find a weapon. So we won't be naked. Or in a skirt. I don't know what we'll find. But it works great. For those who doubt that 2GB TV box can exist, you're wrong. By the way, I'm interested in temperature 52 degrees, wow. 45 degrees, 46 degrees, why? Why? I didn't want to. I turned it off. Why did you kill me? I'm not your friend. Wait, I'll finish you, come here. Yes, let's start in video games. Streaming, let's play Tomb Raider. Just for fun. By the way, I have a video how to play NVIDIA Shield games on any TV box. On the channel.
Check it out, and you'll see how many interesting and useful things we have. But how we can stream. Doing very well. Obviously. They extinguish my mom. My favorite torch. Where else? I don't get it. Nope. Let's go up. Light up torch. If we can heat it up. Listen, game is cool. And on Ugu's there isn't any temperatures. I can't say that it has high pings. No, it plays very good. And I really like to play games on Ugu's AM6. Streaming, playing offline games, playing online games. Without any problems. Because this is one of the most powerful processors for now. I mean for smart TV boxes. What I have to do here? I pushed it. What's next? It doesn't want to go. What I have to do? So, guys, we have no problems with streaming. We can play NVIDIA games. I don't know, we can't see the temperature. Because mouse is set to control. So we have to go to main menu. And close it. Let's see, we have 30% CPU load and 45 degrees. It can't load NVIDIA games. We have to play Hearthstone. We'll start any game, not rating. Just to see the animation and reaction speed temperature is 46 degrees, guys. It doesn't heat up and work. Then 50 degrees. Not in games, not in content. Hearthstone didn't bring me any surprises. Everything works perfectly. By the way, Hearthstone is not the easiest game for smart TV boxes, even on some super processors. Sometimes it stucks everywhere. So we can play here, and it's a big plus. We'll make one more move, and we'll finish. I don't want to delay the review, but I really have no problems with games on this TV box. No matter how heavy they are. Turning off Hearthstone. Turning it off. And where without World of Tanks? We can't go anywhere. Let's go to Settings. Checking graphics, we have high quality yet. What is this? No, it's not. Try to play 4X on Kingdom. You'll be surprised. On start, we have 50 FPS. Unfortunately, on today's session, I'm writing on recorder that it has 50 FPS. Actually, it plays 60 FPS. I showed a video where 60 FPS is stable. But here, tank supports zinc. Unfortunately, I'm connected to recorder with 50 Hz. I showed my settings and it has 50 Hz. Absolutely perfect. With maximum vegetation with anisotropic filtration, it works without any problems. With temperature, 46 to 47 degrees Celsius. And this is not the first game that we're playing. So, this is really the coldest TV box on the market. With passive cooling. I haven't seen cooler TV boxes. And it has Cortex A73 cores. If we take this idiotic rock chip 3399 on 72 cores, well, it's not really idiotic. It's cool enough. Let's shoot it while it's here. Bam! I killed someone 50 FPS. Unbreakable. Unbreakable. I'm surprised. I'm surprised with this temperature and FPS. You know, 50 FPS, 50 degrees Celsius, 60 FPS, 60 degrees Celsius. Actually, above 50 degrees Celsius here, temperature doesn't rise. So, we're leaving World of Tanks. And I'm ready to resume this TV box. So, resume our Ugu's AM6. You know, when I got it, it had only one firmware. And then I got an update. So, it was updated in a month. And I know that next firmware will be with more interesting updates. For now, when we'll review this TV box, it will be 0, 0 0.4, 0, 0 0.5, and so on. A huge advantage is the presence of developers. A great team that always finished this TV box. And when you'll buy it in 2019, you can be sure that you'll want to buy a new Ugus. And this one will support you.
Multimedia capabilities are awesome. I have nothing to say. Game capabilities you've seen. Quality of performance is super. The absence of heating is amazing. And the opinion of Technozon team. That Ugu's AM6 I would compare with Shield only on Android. Shield is a king of Android TV, and Ugu's is a shield of pure Android. Interesting game of words. But we recommend to buy it. If you like what we're doing and this Ugu's AM6, then give us like. If not, give us dislike. Subscribe! Bubble with you on Technozon channel. Bye!